Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa. I wanted a video today just showing some rigging, more rigging setups that I'm figuring out for the Femi Pam 2. This is the Femi Pam 2. I picked this thing up about one month ago. It's, um, I call it the poor man's uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 2, but I actually picked it up over the Osmo, for, Osmo Pocket for a couple of reasons. I didn't like the fact that the Osmo Pocket required smartphone activation. Didn't see any reason why that should be the case. Also has a better battery life. So uh, the low light performance is kind of bad, but besides that, I've actually really, really, really love this uh, little gadget I picked up. Now, um, the reason I'm looking into these various rigging setups is because I want to start doing some interviews. I'm gonna be shooting a video this week in which I interview someone. Now the internal microphone is, you can barely see it, but you can see it. It's this little dot here, just where my thumb is here. So if you think about that placement for the internal audio, so that is actually a sensible place to put the internal microphone for the intended use case, uh, the intended default use case of this. So if I'm shooting video like this, I'm gonna just take my Ulanzi MT34. Let's just pretend in a weird way that this is an interview subject. So I'm gonna be shooting like this and it'll be capturing audio very, I'm just gonna put this on the table here. It'll be capturing audio very well from me in the background. Well, let's just put my tripod here again. Uh, but it's not gonna be capturing audio very well from the subject because it's on the wrong side of the microphone. Presumably this is some kind of a directional microphone. Again, where that little pin is, so it's working here for me. Not great audio capture here. If I do selfie mode, I'm gonna, you're gonna see me in my ridiculous hoodie now. Then again, this is sensible because it's going to be picking up um, audio coming in from me as I'm speaking to the camera, but it's not gonna be picking up audio uh, from that direction. So these are not really, this isn't a great mic placement for an interview. Now, what I'm trying to do at the moment is develop this kind of lightweight kit. I'm putting, I bring this satchel around with me everywhere I go essentially, and I'm trying to create a rig that's going to just be really, really lightweight and portable. So this Ulanzi MT34 is an absolutely brilliant gadget. I've talked about it before. It's great because it's so versatile. On the one hand, you can it's got these tripod legs. This is not a promo, this is literally just my favorite camera accessory, I'd say, at the moment. Um, it's got a tripod leg that'll sit down. It's got a ball bearing so that you can put this wherever you want it. It's got a little quarter inch head at the top, which means that you can put lights on it, you can put cameras on it, you can put microphones on it. It's got a little thumb operated wheel for very easily tightening and loosening. And the best part is that it is also telescopic. So you can get some height on it and you can also even use it as a handheld kind of monopod slash selfie stick thing. So really, really useful piece of gear. Now this to me is a great thing. Let's say I'm interviewing somebody at a restaurant. I've actually got this camera on another Ulanzi MT34. So I'm just gonna pan up a bit. Let's say I'm interviewing somebody at a restaurant and I want to set up a rig. So what I can do, what I'm planning on doing tomorrow when I'm doing exactly this, I'm going to position an MT34 on the table. Just gonna give it a bit of height. And then I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get this, um, to get my Femi Pam 2 working, okay? So in order to get accessories onto the Femi Pam 2, there's a couple of options and that's what I wanted to show in this video. Now, firstly, just to digress a tiny bit, this is the other thing I'm using in my bag. It's a, it's a kind of weird setup, admittedly. It's uh, one of these really, really small Ulanzi lights. Uh, one of these uh, UU rig, which is also Ulanzi. Um, it's a you know handheld gripping mechanism. So this is my kind of versatile go-to light. Um, and again, I, I'm using these two pieces together just because uh, it's really small and you can literally slot this in your pocket. And any time you're shooting at nighttime, you need to throw some light on something, you can just, uh, with this guy out. So um, anyway, getting back to the main thing. So, okay, here's my MT34, here's my pocket. Now if I want to rig up, let's say, an external microphone for the purpose of recording an interview, okay? So this is a ceremonic uh, shotgun microphone. So one, two options really uh, that I've worked with so far in terms of rigging. One of them is to use an L bracket. Now an L bracket is something that has a quarter inch, this one's a little bit beat up, but it uh, still does the job. It has a quarter inch at the base, um, then it locks in here. And then you can go like this at the back and you've got two cold shoe attachments. So you can see that there is one cold shoe here and there's one cold shoe here. Uh, so that's one option. And the second option I'm gonna show is using something like this 
this is one of these horizontal brackets and it's got a quarter inch here it comes out a couple of inches and uh, then it's got a, another screw in quarter inch here and it's got a uh, three cold shoes around this so I'm gonna do both so if I'm gonna go for this one I'm just gonna make sure I'm in frame so I'm going to firstly set up my MT34 get it up to height then I'm going to just screw into the MT34 on my horizontal that is reasonably secure make sure it's tightened all the way then I'm going to position my MT34 now the MT34 has a quarter inch at the bottom so what I can do is just connect it it's kind of a little bit tricky to hold this all together but you can do this once and then you're set up for the shot and I don't want to over tighten it so I'm just going to give it up to here so now I've got the Femi Pam 2 sitting on top of the MT34 um, now that I need to adjust the ball bearing you can see it's a little bit off there we go it's pretty much on the vertical now and I've got that sitting on uh, the tripod and then I can of course just move this guy if I want to go up in the air I can go up in the air if I want to reduce the height I can go down like this and if I turn on the actual Femi now this is shooting in uh, regular mode so I'd actually need to have it like this but there we go now what I can do is use my cold shoes in order to add accessories so I'm just going to go ahead now and attach my camera like this just need to screw it in I always get this wrong there we go and just about in now this guy is a little bit loose so I need to tighten this too that should be about right and then the uh, microphone slot or the 3.5 mil is just on the other side that tiny bit there we go so that's the setup there I have my microphone uh, shotgun microphone I'm just gonna power it on it's a battery powered one that's going around the back you just have to make sure that that's not in the shot and then I've got my uh, rig there and if I wanted to do this whole thing in selfie mode I could just swivel around the uh, camera and have that from the side this is how this looks from the back so you can see the uh, gimbal is moving shooting into this direction audio pickup also in this direction so this is different than the default because if you think about the default configuration let's say I'm, I'm interviewing somebody here it's going to be picking up audio from this direction so it'll get me asking the questions but it will not get the person responding audio very well this overcomes that because the microphone is facing uh, out where we, where we want it to face so that's number one and you can just build upon this setup uh, if you want to connect a light to it then you could simply connect a light to it. Ah, it's on the, the just for the purposes of this demo I'm going to just unfasten this guy, loosen up a bit, stick the light in the side here. Now, this is a really really small light, you could definitely get a bigger one. And there we go. Whoops, that's on the flashing mode. Now it's on the regular mode. So now I've got a light on this cold shoe, microphone on this cold shoe. I've actually still got one more cold shoe to play around with. I'm just going to show you guys how this looks from the other direction. Femi here, microphone here, light here, one spare cold shoe here. And I can, of course, be more adventurous. You can get these kind of um, things that will stick into a cold shoe and have, a, have two ball bearings so you can have the light exactly, you can have the light out a little bit, uh, etc. You can do more with it than this. Now, um, another option, I'm gonna just turn the light off here and turn off the battery. Another option you can use is, um, I'm really excited to be used, I haven't done a ton of stuff with it yet, but this is the uh, TrackShot microphone by Comica. I got it because I think it's a really interesting concept in that it's got two microphones and one can swivel backwards. You could also have this mounted as a microphone up the top here and you could have it set in this really really weird looking mode uh, but you're going to have one audio capture from both front and back equally because it's got two different arms um i think that's it no 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 i wanted to also show the so i'm just going to go ahead and turn off the gear here i wanted to show this option as well as a configuration so let me just kind of derig this 
I don't know if that's actually a word, so you can see where it's connected here. Firstly, I'm going to just take the Femi off. So this is, you know, a tiny bit cumbersome to get this set up and uh, de-set up every single time, but uh, this thing fortunately does really compact nicely, so this will kind of move back there. So this isn't a big amount of gear to get in your bag. The microphone isn't particularly big. You could use a much more compact shotgun microphone as well, and the light and the fixtures are pretty tiny. So um, definitely quite portable. So let's go again, start from scratch. Taking out Ulanzi M234 as our starting point for this rig. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, screw in. I'm just gonna make sure that this is positioned to give it, leave enough room for the Femi to stand on here. So, and get the accessories in. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tighten about here. Whoops, that was not connecting. So you just have to let's just try this. I think we're good. Yep. All right, that's pretty well connected. Now we're gonna screw in the Femi. And once I do, that's gonna make that joint a lot more solid. So this is one option. I can kind of go off to the side with it. I could also have it, I'm just gonna turn this on for a second facing outward so I can go off to the side with it and then I can again just going to take off the microphone here for a second I can build out pretty much the same rig as I did before by putting this guy into the cold shoe at the top this is my microphone of course and again just running the 3.5 mil around the back connecting in and you can see uh, well actually I'm in no yeah I'm in not in video mode, it's, it's going to say if I go into microphone mode. Now you have to be careful when you're adjusting the ball bearing because it's taking the whole load of everything above it. And it's just a tiny bit off center there. Um, if you had something like the spirit level, I'm sure you could get this exactly uh, correct and you can see everything sitting. And again, I can just add, let's say I want to add my light in here. I'm going to put that guy in. Whoops. Need to give it a bit more room. And then just tighten using my thumb. Now the tripod is definitely struggling to maintain center, so I'm gonna loosen carefully uh, and tighten up again here. That looks to me a bit better. So you can see now again, I have my light, I have my microphone, and I have my Femi. And because there's a bit of horizontal clearance here, I've actually got enough room that I can manipulate the camera and uh, shoot, let's say, an interview. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna just finish this video off by showing you guys Again, what this looks like when I swivel around here. Carefully moving it. You can see the mount I have here. Again, I have my microphone, I have my light on the L bracket, and I have the Femi in the center. And this will allow me again to, if I was shooting an interview, I can throw some light on the subject. Um, I can capture audio from directly in front of them. And I can use the Femi as my camera to record this on.